What's up guys, Pokelana here and today we'll be opening up Temporal Forces uh, Blister Pack, uh, Sleeve Blister Packs. Um, we'll be opening up 18, hopefully we can pull an SAR, going back to probably my favorite set of Scarlet and Violet, but yeah, let's just start ripping. Alright, well here are the blisters, um, I'll just open up one real quick. Uh, many of you guys probably have seen a blister pack opening. And uh, yeah, there it is, this is the pack, Raikou right there. And uh, yeah, I'll open up the rest real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, we're here at 18. 18 packs of Temporal Forces. Hopefully we can pull... I, I just need that Iron Crown SIR. The Bianca would be nice. Um, the Entei would be great. I do have the Raging Bolt, the Raikou, and I do have the Suicune, which I think is... Oh, I forget what it's called. I already forgot what that one's called. Wait... Oh, yeah, I don't remember, but let's... Let's start off. First pack, we need that Airy SAR2 Metagross. Medic Cargo, and starting off with our first pack, nothing, just a regular hollow. The next pack. And, uh, yeah, I, this is probably my favorite set in Scarlet and Violet. Though, this was a set that changed everything with the hit rate. Made everything a lot harder. Kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, we're here now with Roselia. Come on. And starting off with our full art. And it is, oh, Gouging Fire, EX. Regular full art. I don't think I ever pulled. I, I pulled this. I pulled the gold card of this mofo, Avente, but I never pulled the regular full art. I believe I pulled a raging bolt, full art a couple times. So there it is, Gouging Fire, regular full art. I'll definitely take that. Starting off, second pack, pretty good. Um, and there's always that rumor, I guess, that sleeve blisters are probably the best way to open up these packs if you want the highest chance of pulling anything like an SAR or gold card or whatever. Um, I mean, I have no idea, but I mean, if you know, the booster boxes kind of made, or no, they didn't kind of, they did make SARs and gold cards a lot harder to pull. And you know, like the rest is history, now every set recently has been really hard to pull anything. Um, and the rumors were that blister packs were a lot better, had a higher chance of pulling those higher rarity cards. Um, is that true? I have no idea. But I, I did see openings of people do, opening up blister packs, and they pulled two or three SARs out of six, like 64 packs. Wow, you open up two booster boxes, you might not even get one. Um, but Bramble Gas, regular hollow, nothing there. I did open up three booster boxes. Two of them had no SARs. One booster box actually had an SAR and a gold card. Um, so yeah, there it is. So hopefully these blister packs are good. Um, we did pull a full order already, but let's see if we can pull anything better. But it'll be popping. Come on, boxes order. Shaman, our buck, and a Maridon on regular, regular EX right there. Two hits out of four or five packs. Or I don't know how many I'm in. But uh, yeah, next pack, come on. But yeah, probably my favorite set. That's not a specialty set, like, uh, 151 obviously is kind of goaded. Um, Putty and Face is pretty nice. That Bubble Mew, that Charizard's great. That Iono is fantastic. But let's see if we can get anything from this set. Nothing there. Nothing there. Come on. I don't know what else I need from the set other than SARs, but obviously Iron Crown right there we need. But I don't remember any if any illustration or that I'm missing. It's been a while since I opened up this set. And uh, yeah, I was able to get these blisters. I was able to get 27 for $70. It's pretty freaking good. Um, so I, I bought them in a heartbeat. It's a pretty good price. Come on. Nothing there though. But yeah, I was always hesitant at buying blister packs because I just didn't want to spend five bucks. Or I think they're five bucks on one pack. Come when you can buy a booster box for like a hundred bucks. You know, it didn't really make sense. Um, but now that I was able to find this sale on TikTok, I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna try my luck on the rumored better chances of pulling anything. But Minchino, oh, Illustration Rare Chat Taunt, another little banger there, usually you don't get those anymore. Uh, but Chat Taunt Illustration Rare, I don't remember if I ever pulled this, but this Illustration Rare is fantastic. That is beautiful. Chat Taunt, pretty good Pokemon, I will say. Um, I don't remember if I ever pulled this. I really don't think so, but this art is fantastic. There it is. That's pretty freaking nice. Three hits so far out of like eight packs, maybe. Pretty decent, actually. Kind of normal, like for like an ETB. So not too bad right there. Nothing too crazy yet, but hopefully the luck changes. 
Come on. Come on. Next pack. Starting off with the Amper. Grub. Medicham. Great Tusk. Cat. Grub. And nothing there. Whatever, whatever. But next pack. Raging Bolt. I was able to pick up that Raging Bolt in a trade, and then that card jumped up a good amount of money. I kept it though, I didn't trade it again. Um, I you know, I really like it, so I didn't want to trade it again. But go let Dunsparce, Snum, Buddy Buddy Puffin, there it is. Alright, Morty's Conviction SAR would be nice. Nothing there though. Laddie Yaz, yes, coming, coming soon, Laddie Yaz yes, SARs and stuff. And the next set, I believe, not the next set, but the net following set after that. There's like a dragon set with Laddie Yaz and Laddie Yaz yes, and Executor, Alolan Executor rather, the dragon type. Um, but Nuzleaf, Mincino, Rock, Litten, come on, Sawsbuck. Ah, oh. okay, we got another EX and it is Incineroar, regular EX, four hits. Oh, I'm ho I'm looking for at least eight hits out of these eighteen packs. That would be decent. We're at four. We have about probably less than eight packs left, or less than ten packs left. So come on, come on. And I do have more um, blisters. I only have eight. I have nine more blisters, but I, I, I wanted to save them for another video, maybe. But Dunsparce, C dot, and Relicanth, regular Hollow. So yeah, hopefully, if anything, they're in the other packs. Hopefully, if we pull nothing here. But next pack, come on, Temple Forces. Ah, I wanted. I, I really wanted to open up like a lot of this set, and I mean a lot. Like I wanted to open up like a whole case. Um, but I was like, when once I found out that the hit rate was different and a lot harder, I was like, ah, oh, I don't know about that anymore. Um, but Sandy Shacks, Shroomish, Solosis, and Whimsicott, regular hollow. Oh, come on, Temporal Forces, come on, please. My favorite set of Scarlet and Violet, and it's been probably my worst luck out of all the sets. And this is one of the most I've opened. Oh, and there's just a regular hollow there. I did not mean to pull that, but there could be, it could be an SAR at the end still. So you never know. You never know. There's no full letter or anything in here, but it could be something still. Come on. Come on. Ah, nothing there. That was an empty pack. Damn, okay, okay. We're slowing down really hard. Come on, we got about four packs left. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is the rumor wrong? The blister's worse than booster boxes. I have no idea. Now, obviously, it's all just luck. Um, booster boxes obviously do have a set amount of hits, so you are guaranteed a little bit more of a chance at pulling just regular cards like EXs and SAR or illustration words and stuff. But, but I mean, come on! Ah, oh, please, no! We're freaking getting wrecked now. We started off decent. Three packs left. Oh man, come on! No, this is making me so sad. Man, why do they have to freaking ruin hit rates? On my favorite sets. I love every single SAR in here. Savator is alright, but every other one is really freaking good. Um, that Morty's Conviction is fantastic just because of that Gengar. That Bianca sleeping is really nice. And all the Pokemon is great. Um, but nothing there. Holy. Alright. Come on. Saving that Iron Crown for the end. Please give us something. Please. Last two packs. Horse. And Chino, Rock, Cat, B, Raichu. Oh, frick, dude. We are getting wrecked, man. Last pack, last pack magic. We definitely need it. We went on a dry spell after that EX. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Give us give us something. Gold card, SAR. I mean, at least an illustration would be great. But just don't end us up with nothing, please. Come on. All right, so Losis, Cat, Branch, Horse, Doug, Horse again. Ah, oh, come on, freaking Worm. Ah, oh, please. Oh, we got an illustration for Cat. Okay, at least we didn't end it off with nothing. But I have pulled this card multiple times. Um, Litten, really nice illustration here. I love Cats. There it is. Um, goes really nice with the Incineroar EX that we pulled. But no SAR pool. Makes me kind of sad right there. I will say. Um, yeah. We we went on a huge dry spell after 
those first like eight ten packs um, but I will say looking at it 18 packs with five hits is not great but we did pull two illustration rares and a full art which are pretty decent and two regular reactions is whatever um, if only we would have pulled at least like one or two more hits like even if there were just like a regular illustration rare or full art or something it would have been pretty decent um, but ah frick I was hoping to pull a big money banger uh, just any SAR would have been nice. Any gold card would have been nice. I mean, just a regular, uh, a Bianca Fuller would have been great. I don't have that one. Or the Airy. Um, but yeah, there's 18 packs of Tempo Forces. Bringing it back a little bit to a little bit of an older set. Yeah. I mean, not too old, obviously. It's still pretty brand new. But um, yeah, uh, I got nothing else to say. There's the video. Hopefully, the next nine packs that I have left of this set. I don't know what I'm going to open it with. But yeah, hopefully it's better than that. But uh, yeah, what's my outro again? Goodbye.